there Transformers fans and welcome back to another Bay 12 video review and today we are reviewing the new studio series number 84 from Transformers Bumblebee the movie Ironhide. This one isn't really much of a surprise when Ratchet came out we knew okay yep Ironhide's coming it's only a matter of time they're just gonna change the colors basically change the head a little bit and boom you got Ironhide and of course Hasbro did it uh, which not a big deal. Iron Ironhide and Bumblebee have always shared a body type. Ironhide and Bumblebee. Ironhide and Ratchet have always pretty much shared a body type in just about every continuity, um, with the exception, of course, Bayverse. But um, yeah, for for the most for the most part, they've always been very very similar. And of course, they were similar on screen as well. It's something that's gone back all the way to Generation One. So here he is in his Cybertron mode. Uh, there's packaging. We've got that new windowless packaging. You've got some bigger artwork of Ironhide right there. You've got a profile of Ironhide. You've got full body art of Ironhide. You've got him in both modes in the back. And that's pretty much it for the box. Just like with your other studio series figures, you do get your little diorama platform piece. This one's just Cybertron in the background. You got like a little highway on fire, some seekers in the background. I like how they're kind of blurred out a little bit though, so you can't quite tell who they are exactly. Then you got B-127 just like racing right there. So here he is, and right out of the box, the hips arm on my copy here are incredibly loose. Uh, there is a minor gap there in the two pieces of the hip plate. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, the hip hip portion um, or not pel hip pelvic portion um, there is a little gap there I don't have one on me right this second so when I get a chance with a tiny screwdriver I'm gonna try and tighten that screw just be warned that maybe that'll happen with yours because that's how mine came right out of the box he only comes with one accessory he comes with the same blaster rifle that ratchet came with would have been kind of cool to see a little bit of variation there but um, they they did at least change the head sculpt, so I mean, that's nice. So here he is again, same figure. Uh, they just changed the color palette to Ironhide colors and changed the head sculpt to an Ironhide head sculpt. Here he is next to Ratchet, so you can see the two of them side by side. Just like with Ratchet, you can peg his blaster onto his back so he can have that you can have that uh, pegged onto his back there or of course he can wield it in his hand so he can blast some deceptive creeps as he would say he and he and ratchet together and there they are and it, he looks good um, I like I like the the iron hide colors on this guy You've got a silver Autobot symbol right there on the chest. He has not not really any visible yellows, but um, I think he does in his vehicle mode, like like a classic Ironhide color scheme. I like all the little grays here. I like how they switch it up with the without the stripes there. Um, you've got some nice darker grays and so on. Like you got those clear blue windows. You've got some blue light piping in the back of the head. The face sculpt looks really, really good. There's there's a lot of awesome, awesome fine details in the face sculpt there. Articulation wise, he has the same articulation as Ratchet, as Ratchet, Ratchet. Heads on a ball joint, shoulders in and out there as well. So you got two different shoulder joints. You got a rotating and an in and out shoulder joint. Upper bicep, single jointed elbows, in and out on the wrist, but that's due to transformation waist hips which on mine again are super crazy loose upper thigh single jointed knees forward and back on the ankles and the forward and backs mostly due to transformation also and then you got side to side there transformation is exactly like ratchet so what we're going to do is we're going to open these panel doors here on the back we're going to fold in those hands into the forearm bring this panel up we're going to extend basically all of this out. We're going to bring that section down. We're going to rotate these legs up like so. 
rotate those thighs around so that these wheels are on the outside. Fold those legs in. Getting a little ahead of me, iron high, but that's okay. Then fold them down like that. And then we're gonna bring the front of the vehicle out. We're gonna bring all that extended section down. And this is going to tab right into this part, just like again on ratchet. Get all that clicked into place. Got the top of the vehicle mode there. Bring those wheels down, bring those wheels down on both sides, like so. So they're facing parallel to the ground. And then next is basically just kind of collapsing the rest of this up. So we're going to rotate that. We're going to straighten that out like so, bring it in. This is going to peg into the back of that thigh right there. And then we're going to fold in that arm. That's going to peg, this part right here is going to peg into the top of what was his foot. And then we're just going to close that panel right there. And that's where the little bit of yellow details like he had on his original G1 van mode come in, which is really nice. I like how there's just a little bit more coloring and paneling there. In vehicle mode, that's not visible in his robot mode. Just, a, just another visible cue of just how awesome that Travis, Travis Knight and his team got these characters when they did their version of a live action movie. There we go. Now it's all locked up in place. And, and there you pretty much have it in his vehicle mode. Put the, put the blaster rifle right there on top just like you could with Ratchet. He's a little truck. I love it. And unfortunately, I wish there was some more paneling details, like maybe just some other alternate colors, like maybe some more grays where the reds are, maybe some more reds where the grays are, uh, maybe some darker reds right here where these lights should be, um, or, or under here what other lights would be, maybe some other yellows. It's like not, not quite this strip of yellow, but, you know, more blinker taillight yellows. I mean, yeah, they're alien cars, but... Um, why mold those details in if you're not going to paint them like a like a light gray or silverish color right here maybe for this bumper piece kind of, kind of like how they've got all this you know these this this type of metallic silver this type of metallic gray just on some of these back and side details i think would have been really really nice to have so there he is and for comparison we'll just go ahead we'll do the we'll do ratchet also so you can see them side by side in their little space van modes who doesn't who doesn't like a good space van i certainly do i like i like how uh well engineered the these cybertronian modes are to where they're just simple enough to not make the figure overly complicated but not so simple where it just like kind of takes you out of the figure they've they've done a really great job with studio series and the bumblebee figures and i and i'm really excited to see uh the figures for the upcoming sequel movie rise of the beasts very excited for rise of the beasts and i'm hoping some of these characters that we saw in this first movie some of the autobots like iron hide and ratchet i'm, I'm hoping they make a return in Rise of the Beast because that would be really, really, really awesome. And by comparison, I mean, looking at Ratchet, he has a lot of the same paint issues I would say that Ironhide has here in vehicle mode where they added a little bit more red detailing on the side panel here for when he's in his vehicle mode. But when you come to the back, it's like they just stopped when they got to the back of the vehicle. You know, there's these, from the front, it looks awesome. There's extra metallic looking color schemes and um, other little, you know, silverish detailing. But then once you turn it all the way around, it's just molded, molded plastic at that point. So uh, really awesome figure. Just wish Hasbro just put in a little bit more when it came to the back of the vehicle, especially since they keep upcharging us more and more these days on figures. I mean, a, a deluxe back when I was a kid was 
seven to ten bucks. Now they're the now they're well over the price of what a Voyager used to be. Now they're about thirty dollars almost. They're twenty five to thirty depending on where you're purchasing them. So, um, just it, it, some of these paint issues have always kind of been a thing with Hasbro though, where they'll they'll nail it on one portion so you can it looks really good in the front, but then once you turn it around and get to the back, it's like, well. I guess their paint just ran out of ink or whatever. Um, their paintbrush ran out of paint or paint or their printer ran out of toner because once you get to the pack, that's kind of where it starts to get a little plain. So hopefully going forward, those will get better. Maybe, you know, Toy Hacks or some of those other guys will have some good, like, upgrade sticker sheets or something or somebody will put up a thing on. Here's some added detailing that we did to make it look a little bit better because I promise you these details are here in the concept art. Um, for, for these characters, so it, it's just weird that they stopped. Anyway, there you guys go. Thank you so much for tuning into this review. Definitely pick up Ironhide. He is still a must-have character if you don't have Ironhide yet. you got to complete the set. There's only so many more Autobots. I think the only other Autobot we have left in this set to go for the Bumblebee movie is RC, and then once RC's out, or, well, she's his wave partner, but once... Uh, once you've collected RC, I mean, that's that's all eight Autobots that appeared in the Bumblebee movie. Hopefully, we see a lot of other new uh, Autobots. Supposedly, we're going to have Mirage and maybe a couple other characters amongst the Maximals as well in the sequel, Rise of the Beasts. But I definitely want to see some more G1-styled Autobots like they did here in the Bumblebee movie because that was fantastic. It was great. But what did you guys think? Let us know in the comments which one's your favorite. Um, and which one do you like a little bit more? Do you, do you want to see a little bit more paint detailing from Hasbro in the future? Let us know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Transform and roll out.